Greetings, beloved friends and family. I am Gilles Mancillon. I thought I come to you to to wish you wonderful days and greetings and blessing and blessings. And I uh, uh, wanted to to make sure you do not forget to celebrate you, to celebrate your life, to celebrate your your your, your own uh, divine existence. For uh, um, of course. Um, Life can be difficult in, on the earth. It is not an easy path. But why it is difficult is because we we have been taught to live in resistance and separation rather than acceptance and unity, inclusion. And so this is um, this is a very important thing to understand. And for, so you have the, the most important thing is that we we do have to learn to make peace with the situation, circumstances of our life. Of course, we seek for perfection. We seek for for. For everything to be flowing and and, no, and right, but we we do see that when we mixed um, free will with limited consciousness, it is inevitable that we make mistakes. And so, do not be afraid of your mistakes. Uh, just uh, try to to not repeat them, to make new mistakes or waste, to make higher mistakes. But uh, but then again, you do not need to, for your life to be perfect to to begin to to start moving into a flow of creative. Uh, creative development that is wholly fulfilling. It is, it is a matter of finding a neutral state, a state of peace, and from there we are able to shift and change anything, to recreate anything, but we cannot do it from a state of frustration, from a state of lack, from a state of disempowerment. So the simple fact to bring that state of acceptance from accepting our own mistakes, accepting, uh, accepting ourselves just the way we are, the more we are able to, to come in peace, come align with that, the, the faster the a greater alignment can come into being so I just thought I come and uh, to remind you of that um, of course you, you already know that but um, Mercury is, has been uh, going direct uh, yesterday so it's it's moving back forward so it is, it essentially what it means is that um, if anything goes wrong in communication or with electronics we'll have to find another escape goat so Mercury cannot be used to say oh well this doesn't work because Mercury is retrograde. For um, Mercury is a wonderful place. I'm sure um, eventually you'll come to, to maybe you'll come to visit this place one day. Maybe I'll, I'll make a video to speak of my uh, my first visit to Mercury. It was quite memorable. Um, for planets are friends. They are they are higher beings. They are higher consciousness that we can utilize. We can communicate with them. They, through the language of light, and so we'll discover that so they are uh, they are assistant in our recovery of our empowerment of our eternal self. For we have uh, amazing um, our body is the most amazing technology. Our DNA holds secrets beyond our wildest dream, and so we do want to avail ourselves to that. And for that, we need to be in peace. We need to be in joy. We need to be in a receptive state. But we're moving towards that. I, I do believe that 2017 will bring great change on a societal level. But once this is going to be started, it's not going to stop. So you do want to be at peace. You do want to be in a in a place of, of contentment and and and, and uh, without uh, always having to, to to need something to be happy or to to resolve something from the past to be happy to to allow that to happen and 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 deal with things just one moment at a time as things comes up you you, you deal with them in the most neutral. way way. Um, of course, I, I wanted, there is a couple of uh, like maybe three uh, other advice I thought I, I would give. Of course, uh, those are common sense, uh, but I, I give them anyway. First is to drink a lot of water, to drink at least two or three liters of water every day, for that helps us to regenerate our, our whole hydraulic system. For our every, we, 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 most of our system and physical body is hydraulic. There is most, mostly water. Our cells are made of mostly water. But when we, we when water goes through our body, it is traveling and water is an intelligent substance it is it can go from the most impure form to like a nuclear reactor for instance or it can be in the most pure form like when you visit like Arcturus or planets like ascended planets the whole water is so brilliantly magnetic and someday we'll be able to come into realization that our planet is a real living being. So we'll come to respect the planet, we'll come to clean the planet and we'll restore all of our hydraulic system. We'll be able to hydrate to, to eliminate the desert so that everybody has clear and fresh water. It is not normal that we live in a world where people do not have access to water and it is not normal that the government put tax on water. Water is an essential for life and, and it is not the, it is no government should have the right to tax water. But that's my own personal view, but uh, 
uh, but in general, and I, I do feel like most of the attacks are kind of illegal from a cosmic point of view. Um, I also wanted to, to, to say if, if you can think of that or if that makes sense is to keep a little journal of all your thoughts and ideas, no matter how bizarre they may be, they will make sense later. And sometimes um, it takes a while, but it helps to keep them organized. Uh, also, um, of the dreams as well when you when you wake up in the morning if you have like no matter what the dream is you, you do want to understand it there is always a reason for it uh, another exercise that is quite useful I've already talked to in the past video I'm sure maybe you've already you're already doing that but is to utilize sage sage is a, is, a, is a plant that the American Indian use in ceremony it is a sacred plant in the Indians in the Indian traditions and so it purifies and so the, the, the idea is to, to burn a little bit of sage but you have to do that at least whenever you need it but, but uh, it's not like once every six months it's more like once a week and, and then you, 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 you can use a, a fan or, um, and then you put it above your shoulder, above your head you breathe it in and, and, so, uh, and then you move into your house you, you, if, if needed you go into every corner every closet you just, so it, it liberates every stock energy there is a lot of um, energy that may be stuck sometimes and the sage has the power to liberate energy so it is a very useful practice and um, so well was there anything I wanted to say no basically I also the, the last thing is that uh, it is important to, to know maybe to quite figure out what, what is what is your highest aspiration what is your highest dream what is your highest uh, sense of fulfillment what is it that you really want uh, if you had no restriction of any kind uh, what is it you would really want to be doing and from there your, your soul will will align you with with whatever is possible and appropriate for you in relationship to your highest desire but do not compromise yourself in your dreams for dreams the universe is as the power has amazing power to make anything possible. It is a, uh, it is about faith, beliefs, and desires. So, uh, so, so, do continue to cultivate your dreams, your ideals, and and um, and and trust that the universe will find a way. Once you once you have informed the universe of something, there is all kinds of energies that come aligned to to assist you in the realization of those uh, of those dreams and desires. Um, and when we do that, uh, when we ask for, when we pray, we invoke, we make decrees, we, then we, we, it's always good to add for the highest good of all at the end of that whatever prayer. Because the highest good of all f as, uh, includes you. <laughs> you, are, it's, you. You are part of the whole. And, and it also includes everybody else. You're not missing the highest good of all of anyone. And when you use that... that um, that uh, that invocation to, to to work for the highest good of all you engaging the whole company of heaven that's already doing that it's always been doing that but um, so there is no more separation and so this is a very powerful uh, um, thing to always use when you work for the highest good of all you 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 working uh, you you are you are in essence uh, aligning with the divine will so um in any event, I wanted to celebrate you, celebrate the day, celebrate this new year with you, this this day, this time, and uh, and to prepare for what is to come. For uh, every day is just a sketch for the next day. Some days are more meaningful than others. Some days are easier than others. Just take it as it comes. But um, always uh, know that you always have the power to bring, come back to the center and, and, and bring the balance back into your life. And from there, there is all all kinds of amazing possibility that we do not necessarily always see when we are in a state of struggle or, or lack or confusion or, or fear or those things are completely outside of our consciousness so it is important to allow those things to go to to breathe in breathe back to the state of neutrality and from there we'll be able we are able to 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 find the inspiration the creativity to solve any problem or to create any situation that that we that we seek so uh, I, thank, I wanted to thank you also. I see that there is more and more subscribers to this channel. I thank you very much for supporting it, for, for your comments as well. I always enjoy to, to, um, to communicate with you. I, I will be soon traveling around the world. So we'll be uh, and, and putting programs together, exhibitions and, and all kinds of other um, 
in order to, to share ideas and thoughts and creative projects to make it more collective. So this will begin this year for me. And so I hope that no matter where you are in the world, maybe we will get a chance to, to meet someday in person, have tea or, or work together on some project. And, and um, but for now, we, we, we have to enjoy this day. We have to make uh, to, 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 to always seek that which those things that are uh, that are for our highest good. That uh, because uh, the, the God and the universe is uh, uh, there is no limit to the power of the the, the, the inner self, the true self, the, the of the God self. For we have we have been gifted with that presence, that understanding that is almighty, that all the powers of heaven and earth. Um, the, the poten all the potential are, 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 been pu are put within each and every human being as the potential to, to create galaxies but we have to move step by step to liberate ourselves first to see how we can serve our collective and then from there once, once we have fulfilled this mission we are moving on to a higher mission oh another thing I wanted to say uh, before I leave is, um, is that sometimes we do struggle a bit with things that we do not understand and so we, we do feel that uh, most people that are in the ascension processing that it's maybe karma from past life that they are dealing with of course that is part of it and it is true we, we are transmuting and aligning and balancing out our karma but also we, when we came into this life it is a very important incarnation is we have accepted to transmute some of the blockages of our physical lineage of our ancestors our physical ancestors our, our human family so this is that um, so that maybe your great 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 grandfather had this blockage that you, of course we don't know them we don't know those uh, those incarnations but we we have accepted to transmute that and so so sometimes we, we are taking on a, a bit of a burden from other people in order to to help the collective to to transmute and, and those particular events those particular um, it is, it is, of course, it is. We are not asked to deal with all the karmas of humanity, but but we have chosen those particular time, place, family to, because for, for many reasons, and one of them is also to assist the whole lineage to 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 unblock their blockages. Because even if something is blocked, is blocked. If it's even if it's in a far distant past, if it's still blocked and you're experiencing it now. Uh, as soon as you unlock it, the, the past unlocks and everything flows. So, so it is. Uh, it is a slow progress. Be kind to yourself. Be uh, slow down. Um, take the time to breathe, to experience life, to find joy, to, to connect with nature as much as possible. And um, and I hope uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, you will continue to to work on those things that bring you joy, that brings you peace, that brings you serenity, and and, and the creative uh, fulfillment that will follow. I thank you very much. Namaste.